everyone and welcome to Sound Codex. Today I want to show you how to convert semitone variations in transposition ratios. If you're familiar with time stretch or pitch shifting algorithms, you already know that perhaps if we transpose a sound setting its playback speed to 0.5, we are going to produce a frequency, a sound, that is an octave below the original one. On the other hand, if we set the playback speed to twice its original speed, we are going to produce a sound that is an octave above the original frequency. But what if we want to transpose or slow down our audio file in a way that we produce a different interval, like a minor third or a perfect fifth. Well, we need to convert a more musical value, which is the semitone, to a more technical value, the transposition ratio. To calculate this relationship, we are going to use the following formula, which is 2 elevated to the number of semitones. We want to transpose our sound multiplied by 100 and divided by 1200. In pure data, we can do so by calculating first the exponential. So we use uh, expression and here I want to receive the incoming value, which is going to be the semitone variation, multiply it by 100 and divide it by 1200. On top here, we can set the semitone variation out of our expression, we can use a trigger bang float. So each time our expression calculates the exponential, we want to set a base. So 2 that is going to be elevated to the float value, our exponential. Um, this 2 message it's sent to a POW. It receives in its right inlet the float calculated on top here. We can apply a number box to visualize our transposition ratio. If we set zero, we have no transposition, so the playback speed is one. If we set 12, we are playing back our audio file twice its speed. So the its pitch will be an octave above. And here in between we have whole ratios that as you can see are not linear. They follow uh, a different formula. And of course it works with negative values. So if we want to transpose our sound below its center frequency. Now if you want to manipulate your audio file with more precision, we can use this same algorithm with just uh, a small change. So on top here, we are going to set the pitch variation in cents. So here we set the cent variation and we can get rid of this 100. So the incoming value divided by 1200. 100 is a semitone above the original frequency. We can check if it's true. 1.059 and here as well 1.059. From here I created two abstractions. The first one is half tone to ratio, which converts uh, the half tone variation to transposition ratio. And if we inspect inside, we have the same algorithm. And here, the cent ratio. Hopefully this tutorial was useful for you. If so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support my channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.